Now all these years we've been growing for 50 years in Humboldt County. It was the poorest county in the United States. And we came here, there was no industry. The logging industry was getting demolished by the environmentalists. We started out growing in a real small environment. And over the years we've gotten larger and larger. We grew organic vegetables for almost 35 years, acres and acres. We raised our family there. They were born and raised there. Then people started coming up here. They all decided to do the same thing. And that's how they sold all the land in Humboldt County. They would say, well, you can grow a little weed here. You can grow a little weed there. And people took them up on it. And that's developed the industry from there out. Little by little, people heard, hey, these people have weed for sale out there. My life partner always valued himself as an outlaw. <laughs> but it wasn't like, you know, a bad outlaw. You know, they were good, they were like good outlaws, but they supplied all the cannabis, and cannabis is a great thing. It's come a long way from the days of the helicopters. Helicopters hovering over our house at 500 feet. I mean, constantly. They would fly our place all the time. Big army Hueys right over your house. And that's a little unnerving. You know, and, but that's how it was before legalization. The reason I fell in love with this place is because the people were willing to stand up for what they believe in and the environmental movement and the people that really grounded this place in those values spoke up since I've been here. The organic movement, the save the trees, save the creeks, preserve the land for the people, it's all part of the same thing. And when you bring that to what you do, you bring it to everything you do. There was this whole situation. The ancient redwood forests were being clear cut. And so we had EPIC, the Environmental Protection Information Center, mm -hmm. and they were suing our state and the federal government mm -hmm. to say that these lands need to be preserved. So there was this backbone of environmental leadership that had nothing to do with cannabis at all. These back to the landers, these old school hippies, they weren't coming back to, you know, grow a bunch of weed and chop down trees and do whatever it took to, you know, make a million bucks. They were coming because they wanted to be connected with the place that they were from. They wanted to connect deeply with the roots. And yeah, most of them smoked weed too. It became a cannabis community, but it always was so much more than that. It was very much environmental community based. Every day I wake up, I choose to be commercial cannabis. I don't have to be commercial cannabis. I'm doing this because Mostly because I have something to say, and that's it. This whole thing with like going into commercial, coming from someone who grew up during the war on drugs, I know what it's like to fight for this. In that sense, I feel pretty strong moving into commercial in terms of knowing who I am and what I bring, what I offer. This is how we make the transition with integrity. This is how we bring those heritage farming skills to the table. You know, we're not like classic cars or relics, you know, that, that of, of time gone past. One of the things that makes Humboldt County unique is that living where we live, we've got all these pockets and areas and regions that are similar yet different. And it's those expressions that give us something very special and very unique. Right. And that's terroir. The regenerative practices that a lot of cannabis farmers are incorporating into cultivation these days are reminiscent of indigenous you know, culture that was here before. It makes my heart so happy because it's like getting back to where we're living with it. Showing these regenerative farming practices, these heritage farming practices, it kind of destigmatizes us as growers up here. Environmental leadership to me means walking the walk, integrating as many regenerative practices as possible and encouraging others to do the same and that being a through line into the brand and what goes out into the public. We have the power to make that happen. I think people could really use regenerative farming a lot more. I would love to see it 10 times bigger in the next three years. We're not just individual farms. We know each other. 
we've grown up together. My schooling and education was all funded by cannabis. A health center, a radio station, environmental groups, credit union, and reg on the river. So that's what cannabis has been, an amazing community. And that's what I would like to see it continue to be. This plant can do that. It can clean our water and clean our soils, reunite our community, and provide medicine to the community around us. We've been doing this before it was safe. And everyone in Humboldt here has been advocating for this plant, risking a lot to get us to this point. It's not all about that TV show that they made about us, you know, and, yeah. and, and that we are just people up here sharing a lifestyle that we've lived for many, many years. I think that the cultural preservation piece and inviting people in to understand what has happened in Humboldt, who these people are, and why it's so important to remember Humboldt's place in cannabis history. We're not just cannabis growers, we're actually farmers and we're land stewards. We take care of the places that we live and that we grow because it's deeply rooted to who we are. We also know that full-term cannabis grown in the sun, we have cultivars that have been you know, bred for many, many generations, they do something different. There's something special about the way that that all comes through at the end product. I often say that like Humboldt County, it's not just a location, it's a state of mind. This is gonna be around forever. It's not going away, you know? And Humboldt County, Karen and I still grow the best of the West, you know? We really do, you know, totally organic for, 50 years, you know, and uh, we enjoy it, still do, smoke every day. <laughs>